Hi everybody, this is Matt, Bipolar Conductor. Um, this is your Bipolar Journey, number two. The subject today I wanted to talk about a little bit is, uh, have you ever wondered if bipolar disorder is really a disorder? And what I mean by that is going to take a video to cover, but <laughs> in short, <laughs> Uh, you know, have you ever thought about the fact that maybe our issues and the reason we sort of fall out of balance is the structures in society? Meaning, do you have you ever thought about the fact that maybe we're not adjusting or adapting well? to a world that is maladjusted. In other words, I'm trying to find the best way to say this without causing confusion, but it's really semantics, you know, it's like terms that you would choose to describe one thing or another. We have this sense of normalcy. Of course, you know, the way our society is structured seems normal to everyone, but think about this, for example, Joe Rogan talks about this in his uh, podcast. For like a million years, we were hunter gatherers. You know, we had to find our own food, collect our own food. Uh, we were physically active. We were out in nature. We were communing with nature and so forth. And, you know, and then within the last thousand years, uh, we're basically, we've become a species that's living in cities, living in houses that are not natural, uh, that are not in sync with nature. We close ourselves off from the outside. We cleanse the air as it enters into our furnaces and we filter out all the stuff that's in nature, like pollen. Um, we recirculate that air. We have artificial light in our homes and artificial light in our workplaces. Um, we, 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 in short, we have chlorine in our water, fluoride in our water, things like that. You know, so our food system has hormones in it, um, pesticides. All of these things, as a whole, create a very unnatural existence. The systems that we build have a very unnatural existence. Um, we go to the grocery store to get everything. And then, like I said, it has all that stuff in it. And these things throw, well, I mean, you put it all into your body and every, the culmination of everything that you put into your body sort of throws us out of balance. And then some people adjust very well to that and some people don't adjust very well to that. Some people adjust to hierarchical structures of power and some people don't. Some people adjust to social norms and some people don't. Um, some people can, can get used to a drone-like lifestyle where you just go to a job eight hours a day and punch a clock and do a job, you know. Get that paycheck at the end of the week, use that paycheck to pay your bills, go back to that job and do that for an entire life. And that seems okay to some people and it doesn't seem okay to others. But I wondered if other people had uh, felt like I do that a lot of what we are exposed to and asked to do with our lives is unnatural. And some of us just have a lot harder time adjusting to that and the older we get, the harder it becomes to stomach it, basically. And so is, is some of what we call mental illness, and I don't just mean bipolar, but I mean other kinds too, is some of what we call mental illness not mental illness? Is it just the inability to adapt to a world that is increasingly insane and increasingly unnatural and increasingly unfulfilling increasingly without joy right people 
find joy in their kids. They find joy in uh, their time off. They find joy in their entertainment. Um, but these are small slices of time. When you compare that to the amount of time you spend at work and the amount of time you spend, you know, maintaining this, what I would posit is an unnatural lifestyle. So is anyone else on on that train? You know, do, do you feel that maybe some of what bipolar disorder is, is uh, the culmination of all of these stimulants and toxins and different things that come into our bodies and our brains as a result of the way our systems work now and the way our society works now and the, the expectations on a person in that society and you know maybe some people just have a little bit more of an artistic or creative bend to them and they find it harder to have an eight-hour day job and work within that drone type structure I think that's a I think that's a uh, a perfectly reasonable position and like I said Joe Rogan talks about it a little bit in some of his uh, podcasts that he does I recommend checking him out he's got some really cool uh, thoughts and ideas and you know he's traveled the country a lot during his years as a stand-up comedian and working for the UFC and stuff like that so he's had the opportunity to talk to a lot of people from a lot of different walks of life and he has a lot of different people on his podcast and he's gotten feedback from them on some of his theories over the years so I think check him out check out Tom Wooten who is also kind of working on alternative theories about what mental illness is and what bipolar disorder is and let me know what you think you know I've had other discussions with people where you talk about how bipolar could be kind of like an X gene in a way because you, it seems to me that we're tuned into things that other people are not. And it ends up being to our detriment, the way we live our lives and the way society is structured and it ends up being that way. But it isn't necessarily that way if we were to uh, exist in a different context. Like, imagine that we might possibly have a little bit different antenna. Maybe we're tuned into some of the macro level emotional shifts in society, and maybe that's more localized in our communities, or maybe it's more like a collective consciousness thing. Carl Jung talked about this a lot. If you guys are fans of Carl Jung, he was a student of Freud and diverged from Freud in his belief that it's not just a neurochemical process that occurs in our brain. There's, a, there's another component. There's a spiritual component. There's something that exists outside. Consciousness can actually uh, not be encompassed with just the neurons and the chemicals in our brains there's something else beyond that and so if you're a fan of that style of psychology and Carl Jung um, you may have some of you may have been exposed to some of these ideas already and you may have some opinions on this stuff too uh, it could very well be that what we call bipolar today were once, you know, the the soothsayers, uh, the shamans, the people who were channeling something that, or artists, you know, philosophers of the past, um, possibly guys like Aristotle and Plato found a way to express this side of themselves. But in our modern society, we don't have... We don't have enough room for that. We don't have enough room for creativity. It's all about productivity and profitability. And I mean, we live in a capitalist country here in America, so I don't even think people realize how much we're indoctrinated into that style of thought. And uh, so I wanted to see what other people thought about that. Those are some of my thoughts. Um, 
let me know what you think. What is bipolar disorder? Is it really just a chemical imbalance? Uh, do you really think that prescription drugs are the answer? I don't. I mean, they fail more 65% of the time. How could they be the answer, right? That's the way I look at it. Um, but like, what is the answer then? So let's start talking about what bipolar disorder is, what's been your experience in, in terms of uh, these, this, this side of the topic, this slice of the topic. Um, could it be an X gene? Could it be something that's just a, like a f development that we're just beginning to head into as a human species? Has it always been with us, right? Some would say roughly 1% to 2% of the population has always been this way. Uh, and they just they just took on different roles in society in the past that we uh, have fewer and fewer spots for these days that, uh, that uh, in a world that's becoming increasingly crowded and in which competition for finite resources is increasing that there's just less and less tolerance for the creative and the expressionists and the people who aren't contributing directly to the commerce and the solutions required to solve the problems that we've created with seven billion people on the planet right so there's some of that too and I'm just I really would like to get the conversation started if you have thoughts on the topic put them in the comments below if you want to hear more videos like this like and subscribe I appreciate it very much that's all for now. Thanks.